morning. Welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a simple one card without any glue. We, you'll need a eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper or half of that. I'm going to trim mine down at five and a half. I mean, I'm going to fold it at four and a quarter in half. We are going to use stamps and just kind of layering our stamps to make a beautiful cotton. I hope. But I want a little bit of background. So I'm going to take tempting my ink pad and a cotton ball as soon as I find them. It's cold here in Arkansas, so I've got the heat on. You name it. And I'm going to just use a little bit of this and my tempting turquoise. And I'm going to just do something. Just like so. And just inking it with a cotton ball. And yes, I do have the heat on today. And then I'm going to do the bottom the same way. But not as much of it. said I'm getting my stamps and these came from wish.com I'm using the this big old flower I'm going to stamp it with my mento black I'm going to stamp it upside down Sticking it right here in the corner. Dude, I rocked it. I'll be okay. Maybe. Okay, I'm taking my Spectre North and I'm going to open my card because I don't want the Spectre North to go through. That ain't the card I want. Okay. And I'm going to just color my flower in with a little bit of shade of darker turquoise than what I used on my page uh, inking it now if you don't have ink and you just got have the spectrum you can also do this the same way 
Or if you just had markers, you can color all that in besides the ink in it. But most crafters has ink pads. Those are all kinds of different types of ink pads. You can have close to my heart. Um, stamping up. I mean, Mentos. Use what you have. Don't go buy stuff that I just use. Because I can tell you, I don't. I had to make sure I was recording. Okay, I'll be. For the ones that that, just, that don't know, I've got stuff at the back behind me that I use. Maybe this won't work long enough to get these done. And I'm using CG4 Spectre Normal. On my leaves. Well, I'm gonna try to. Those Reba. refill soon. So who's all ready for this cold weather? Snow, ice. Not me. I'm missing the days of having the doors open. Okay, I'm going back, I think. <clears throat> nope, that's too dark. That's DG3. Let's try. Okay, I'm going with the CG3. No, I'll just go that the lines. Okay. Okay.
Now, I'm going to use the smaller flower here and do another one up here in this corner. And I'm going to hang it down like so. And I'm going to get a sparkle. I mean, a lot of them. BT5. It's going to be BT2. I'm going with a BT2 on this one. And yes, I usually cover all my markers up when I get done, but for video's sake. May have, may have to use something different. I ain't liking this. And always clean, clean your markers if you think you've got anything on them. Let's go with that. I'm going with a TB3. So how was everybody's weekend? Mm. Mine's been busy. Saturday my husband came in, decided he was going to redo my craft room and add some more stuff, more storage that I'm blessed to have, but I still got a mess. I'm going to try to do a I want to do a video on the craft room, but I don't know when it will be posted. As soon as I get it semi-cleaned up, I guess. And then I'm going back over it with my light BT2 to give it the uh, more of a uh, effect We all think.
22. I'm going to cover these up while I'm in. Okay, I'm needing a yellow, so I'm going to go back here and get a yellow. I'm getting CT3. You'd think I'd have this all that ready to go, but I wasn't. As usual. That's all. Okay. Now, I'm going to find my step block. And it's, this one's got a lot of sayings on it. And, uh, actually, I think I got this off of uh, Amazon instead of Wish.com. But I've seen it on Wish.com, too. Oh. Let's say, uh, I hope, um, A little Blondie told me it's your birthday. We're going to use two different stamps on this. Ugh. And yes, they are going to come off. Oh. And I'm trying not to turn them up. I'm going to clean my block off before I get black ink all over the place. Now I'm going to stamp the sayings in Old Olive from Stampin' Up. Now, I think I don't want this leaf, and I'm going with something else. I'm going with prayer, put, prayer, whatever it is from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to fold my card back. And I'm just going to stamp off of the corn and use, I use a piece of paper on my desk. And that's all I'm going to do with it. I think it came out cute. And as I said, there was no glue involved. Just ink and paper. Thank you for joining Angie's Craft Corner. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Visit us on Angie's, Angie Craft Corner dot blogspot dot com. As always, we're here to answer any questions or whatever. We have... Um, we can do private videos through Hangout, Google Hangout. If that's what you need, let us know. 
We love you. Have a blessed day.